Remember this last summer, this lighthearted Burger King commercial tackled a very serious topic, actually, cows and the harmful methane gas they produce. Researchers say reducing it could go a long way to lessening the world's carbon footprint. Yeah, there are scientists right here in Florida contributing to this global effort. Nicholas DiLorenzo is a University of Florida researcher with an unusual specialty. I've been introduced as, as, as the guy that study farts, and I always have to, my first correction quickly is first I work in cows, uh, and then it's belch, uh, belches, not, not farts. Yes, cow belches. As it turns out, cows do a lot of belching. They're not necessarily uh, belching the way the human would do in a very loud, of obnoxious way, but they certainly do it a lot more than humans would. And all that cow burping comes with environmental consequences. During the digestion process, cows can produce over a half a pound of methane every day. It's a, a fairly large uh, volume of gas, and that's where the, the, the problem lies. Methane is considered to be a harmful greenhouse gas, though, 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide. And it accounts for about 15% of total global greenhouse gases. Globally, it's a large amount of methane that, that we're emitting and, and through cattle, and that's why uh, we are so concentrated on, on research efforts to mitigate. At a UF agriculture research facility at Mariana, De Lorenzo's reducing the amount of methane these cows release through small changes in their diet. He's replacing a common supplement in their food with nitrates that interrupt the production of methane. That's where this specially designed headgear comes in. The animal belches, a sample of that is collected by that yolk. At the end of the day, we detach that from the animal and we take it to the lab uh, to analyze for uh, methane concentrations. The USDA funded research has led to an 11% reduction in methane emission. At this point, we're happy with 11%, but we know that uh, it's not where we want to uh, stop. The reduction comes without a loss in production as well, or increase in costs. Both important factors in the cattle ranching community. De Lorenzo says the research will also please consumers in the grocery store. What I personally see in the future is more demand for product with a low carbon footprint. So I think the pressure is going to come from the consumers, like it's already happening. Florida-based research measuring the global impact of each bovine belch. Now, next year, De Lorenzo will serve as chairman for the Greenhouse Gases in Animal Agriculture Conference coming up in Orlando. It's an international conference that's held every four years. He says it's a major step for the U.S., which is hosting the event for the first time.